I'm Richard Rogers, an architect. I live nearby here, cycle every day, and I have been in this office some over 30 years. The Royal Academy has asked whether I would like to do an exhibition about my life. Not specifically about my work. Uh, and, and I've had a touring exhibition for the last 10 years about work, but more about the, the thinking and was a section through 80 years of life. We've decided to call the exhibition Inside Out, partly to do with that I often put uh, structure and ducts on the outside of buildings for functional as well as aesthetic reasons. But the real title is Ethos. And the idea is that we have a responsibility to society. We have a social responsibility. And that gives us a role as architects, which is more than just answering how well we may do the client, but also to answer the passerby and society as a whole. On one wall it will say, a place for all people, all ages, all creeds, the rich and the poor. That was actually the first paragraph that I wrote with Renzo when we entered the Pompidou competition and 700 people competed for it. But it also shows really the heart of this exhibition, because that gave us the way of handling the Pompidou, not just as a building, but a place which I'm much more interested in. Then on another wall, there will be the Hellenic Oath, which is, I will leave this city more beautiful than I entered. It's an oath that each citizen made, uh, and it's an oath which I would like to think we are all trying to do, and using beauty in a very broad, shall we say Greek way, democratic and intellectual, so not just aesthetic, purely aesthetic. I work very much with colleagues, with friends, Architecture is about teams. The idea that you suddenly wake up and do a sketch is not true. The only thing when I do that, I, I usually wake up with a hangover the next morning um, because it never works like that. You do it piece by piece. When the chairman of the Lloyds, at the end of doing the building, he said, well, why didn't you tell me what it looked like? And I said to him, because I didn't know. It's probably like any work, whether you're a film or a book, it has its own inertia. It changes directions. Now obviously you have to do working drawings, you can't change very easily. And also the scale changes. I mean the scale in your mind, the scale in models, slowly gets more and more attuned to what you're actually doing and has in itself a reaction to what you're doing. Because that's how it works. Because you can't, any more than you could uh, imagine 500 pages, you can't imagine a building as a complete. In this room there's also a very important part which is the film. It's a film which tries to say what ethos is. It's based, funny enough, on my mother's watch, which I always wear, which is a boulevard, which has a beautiful workings in it. Uh, it's almost 50 years old now. Um, and it sort of explains my work through, through, that, through that watch. And then it has all the people I've worked with, which are hundreds. And I have had amazing colleagues. I was a appalling student all my life. In fact, I often say, I enjoyed myself much more in the last third of my life than I have in my first third. Uh, and my first day was hell, as an Italian arriving in 1939 in England. That was a bad move to start with. Everybody said I was stupid, and then I found out that actually I had learning difficulties. So those sort of gave me a lot of problems for the first 30 years, but the last 30 years have been fantastic.